One of the great characters in the Word of God is that of Samuel. It's a thrilling study to look at the birth of Samuel, the days that he was born into, the manner of his birth, the godly mother that he was blessed with, Hannah, a woman of prayer, and also to read of Samuel's conversion and subsequently his consecration to the ministry of the Word of God and to how the Lord blessed him even in revival and during different times he saw the Spirit of God move. He lived through a very critical time in the history of Israel through the reign of King Saul and then on into the reign of King David. We read about what I believe is Samuel's conversion in 1 Samuel chapter 3. The Bible speaks about Eli in that chapter. Eli was a priest of the Lord. The Bible says his eyes had begun to wax dim. And so Eli was not able to see all that well physically. But the physical problems that Eli had mirrored something of his spiritual problems as well. Spiritually, he wasn't really able to see what the nation had become. And in many respects, he couldn't even see the danger oftentimes that his own family were in as well. And I believe tragically, while Eli was a man of God, sadly, he died with many, many regrets. But nevertheless, we read about the night that Samuel met the Lord in 1 Samuel chapter 3. I just want to read some of these verses with you. 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse number 2. It came to pass at that time when Eli was laid down in his place, and his eyes began to wax dim that he could not see. And ere the lamp of God went out in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was, and Samuel was laid down to sleep, that the Lord called unto Samuel, and he answered, Here am I. And it's that little phrase that I want to leave you with, friends, today. Verse number 3 of 1 Samuel 3, Ere the lamp of God went out in the temple of the Lord. Samuel was sleeping that night, or rather trying to get to sleep in the temple. As he looked around, all of the little oil lamps, we're not sure how many there were in the temple, but he was watching these little lights, and one by one they were going out, until at last there was only one left. And whenever the oil would burn low, the lamp would begin to wax dim and eventually it would go out and the wick within the lamp would just become a smoking flax. And Samuel was sitting there in the temple watching the lamp burning low. And I believe there there's a great object lesson for us. I've got this beautiful old oil lamp beside me. I'm not sure how old it is, uh, but I sometimes use it in the study. I'm a little bit nostalgic that way. And it's nice to have an old oil lamp, but it goes on this paraffin oil. And whenever the paraffin or the oil runs out, the lamp will ultimately burn low and go out as well and just leave something of a smoking flax or a smoking wick. And then that will stop to smolder as well. And the lamp is the instrument that emits the light. The lamp is not the light, but it is an instrument that is used to emit light. And you know, in the scriptures, in the book of Revelation, the Lord challenges those seven churches of Asia Minor. And speaking to one of them, he exhorts them to repent. Now, this is a local church, to repent of their sins ere he removes the candlestick. And I believe that in this day and age in which we're living, the spiritual light that is being emitted from the church is ever burning low. We are living in a day whenever, tragically, many are departing from the faith. Many are waxing cold. Their love for the Lord is waxing cold. And the Bible says that in the last days there shall be a falling away. And I believe in many respects we're living to see something of that. And the lamp is burning low in the temple of the Lord. And we desperately need a fresh infilling of the Spirit of God in the life of the church and therefore in the lives of all of God's people. The old spiritual song used to say, Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. And how we desperately need 
that oil of the Spirit of God, because the lamp of God is burning low in this day and generation here in this nation of ours. And what a tragedy to see church doors closing, prayer meetings closing, children's meetings closing, mission halls closing, people waxing cold and getting away from the faith. And we really need fresh oil, a fresh anointing, a fresh infilling, and that spark, that ignition to light us and set us on fire for God again. Dear friends, may God bless you and thank you so much for listening. See you soon. See you next time. God bless you, folks. Bye bye.